You know, I'm at Interbike and I saw the Falco booth. I recognize this stuff. And this is Rakesh, the founder. How's it going, buddy? Good, good, good. Good to see you, Court. Awesome. You too. Yeah, the first thing that caught my eye were those colorful motor, like, hub casings. Um, I saw those at Outdoor Demo. Very cool. It sounds like it's, you know, both of your motors. Actually, you have uh, several. You have, like, the HX500, 750, and 1000. Yeah, correct. Does the correct. case go on any of those? Yes. Awesome. So you yeah. can kind of, you know add some flair you to your ride. Yes, yes. Do you want to show me uh, you know, some of your other systems real quick and just point out the different models? Sure, yeah, so what we have, uh, this one is our uh, Fat Rebel. This is actually a Falco bike. Oh. So we're introducing a full bike. Uh, this is gonna have uh, our 750 watt system. Yeah, extra power for the big wheels and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, 750 watt system, it's got a 10 speed, uh, uh, 10 speed on it. Uh, with a 48 volt, 11.6 amp hour uh, battery. Nice, down tube mounted. Down tube mount mounted. It's got a very nice components. Uh, you can see it's a. Uh, you have SRAM X5 here, SRAM X9. So right. this is you got you know yeah you you got two chain rings up there. Two, yeah, two chain rings up here. It has got inbuilt torque sensor here. Uh, we also have a regenerative braking and uh. Uh, and a throttle. Love that. How does the regenerative braking work? Do you have like so, little... So the regenerative braking, the way it works is uh, we have here, if you see, we have a brake sensor mounted right in the brake wire. Huh. So it activates and it's it's uh, it's wired into the motor. So it's not a separate, like a lot of these brake levers have to be customized or have magnets glued to them or something. Yours, it's in line. It's like... It's, it's in line because, you know, we, we want it to be a very clean solution. Yeah. Uh, that has been our philosophy all along is, uh, you know, we don't want to kludge things together. Yeah. So it's you just slide on your brake wire and uh, and you have a brake. And you have, yeah, and that allows you to have nicer, you know, yes. levers and stuff. Yeah. That yeah, is so have, unique. I haven't seen that anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's, that's, it, it's, it's been around for, for some time. And, <laughs> I haven't been looking hard yeah, enough. Yeah. yeah and no, we, we have, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, <laughs> but that is cool. Is it yeah. is it just on the back brake right here? Because that's where I yeah, saw it's, it. It's on the back. Okay, brake. yeah, I got, I got it. <laughs> Your turn, buddy. <laughs> so, I see we got a throttle here. You got torque sensing assist. So you've got a bunch of different ways to engage with this, and your your systems are known for like being extra powerful and fast, right? right like right. they have higher top speed optionally that you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. You know, you you can go the off road version can go 28 miles per hour. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, and uh, and we have you can run it with the smartphone app, uh, Android app. We have an iPhone app coming in January. Sweet. So this is uh, you know this is you can control. So the cool thing about this is you can control uh, your assist levels. Yeah. Is that and like then you can four levels of assist? Or? Five levels of assist. Five levels of assist. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And then you can also have five levels of regeneration. Right? I love that. And we have a Falco wings here on the top. <laughs> These wings are green when you are putting the energy back into the batteries. Oh, okay. And they become red when you're drawing it from the batteries. Ah, so you're trying, it's like, I've, I've driven the Prius, right? right it kind of right. tells you like the leaves fall off the tree yeah. when you're like burning too much oil. <laughs> this is cool. That's a great, this is nice. I know you've been working on the, the smartphone app for a while and I think it's it's wireless, this right? Is, yeah, this is wireless. The, what this has, this is uh, basically N+. Plus. And right plus, here. and that goes with, with the heart rate. With monitor. the heart rate, yeah. This is an N plus heart rate, so you can actually connect the heart rate and the motor and uh, and and the pulse. So you can set your target heart rate that you're desiring to get a workout like 143 yes. beats per minute, That's and right. this automatically assists you if you're at 150 beats per minute, right. or it cuts it down a little bit if you're if you're overexerting right. yourself. Right. So you right. get a really consistent yeah. workout. Yeah, so higher the heart rate, higher the assist. I love know, it. So. It's it's a beautiful thing, very yeah. unique yeah. too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so we've we've got this, but is this also how it? I mean, you're changing assist, and that's wireless. Is that wired in, or how? how it, where's no, the controller? All, all like wireless. So, all wireless. So here, if you see, we have a we have our N plus uh, uh, receiver, uh, right receiver, there. receiver, and transmitter right here. So you have, uh, you know, the battery wire is routed at the bottom and goes directly to the motor. So it's really clean. You really have just like a couple wires here and the That's battery right. and the motor, but then yeah. all this up here, your cockpit's yeah. pretty clean. Unless you add the throttle. The throttle's optional, right? Throttle is optional. Okay. Yeah, so if you're looking at just a pedal assist function, then everything is wireless. You know, you don't have any... So what's the, you call it the Fat Rebel. How much is this? So this one is retail is thirty two hundred. Okay. Uh, cool. So that's that's uh, you know and it's it's a very good bike. I mean it's it's got a top of the line the bicycle components and, uh, and bosses there for adding stuff racks and everything. 
This is cool. This is very cool. And tell me about some of these other things. So you've got a couple systems. Are, are any of these actually bikes that you're selling complete, like yes. the Fat Rebel? Yeah. So we have, you know, one of the things, you know, I talk to customers quite a bit. Yeah. And we see a lot of need for a comfort bike. Yeah. So we have uh, our 36 volt battery here. Okay. 36 volt, 11.6 amp hour battery here. 500 watt system. This is a seven speed uh, setup here. Uh, with, uh, Again, two chain rings, so it's like a 14 speed? Oh no, it's three, three. so 21. Yeah, 21 speed Sweet. here. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, it also has got, uh, this is good for essentially comfort riding. Yeah. You know. And it, I mean, you got the suspension and suspension seat post. I think that's, that's right. That's right. So I, I like the handle position. Uh, we have added uh, twist throttle to it. We have a wireless console which you can use to control it. And you can also run it with a smartphone. An adjustable stem and stuff. How much is this one, the Thaco Trail? This one is 2200 retail. Okay, cool. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Do, you have, do you have some kind of warranty that you guys offer at Falco? Yeah, so we have the motors are a five-year warranty on the motors. Wow. You know, and we have a two-year warranty on the battery. Sweet, so. sweet. And it's kind of modular, right? That's one of the cool things about your system. You can get another battery or you can upgrade that. Stuff. Yes, yeah. I mean, the way we have designed the system is we, want, we have eliminated any fault points. Mm. Right, so you, we don't want any fault points. If your console or uh, uh, battery, all of them are modular and they are really guided by the motor. Okay. So the motor really is the master. Yeah. Maybe you designed it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like it. Okay, so we got the Falco Trail, we got the, the fat bike over there, and then I see a Zing. Yes, Falco Zing. This is a single speed bike for city commuting. Uh, it's, it goes pretty fast, 28 miles per hour. And, ah, you know, it's like a so speed pedal. Yeah, so commuting to the office and uh, and getting back is, is a breeze. Is this also a 500 watt? This is also a 500 HX500? watt. HX 500? Yeah, 500 okay. watt with a 36 volt setup with a wireless console and uh, and with a throttle. How much is that one? Uh, this one is about 1990. Not bad. Yeah. But you yeah. do have like the HX 1000, right? Like you right. have like a, right. and I don't see that on any of your pre-made bikes. Is that more of a kit that people get? So we have, you know, we have recently introduced a number of fat bike kits mm -hmm. because fat bikes are coming up with 170 millimeter dropout, 190 millimeter dropout. So we have made special motors huh. uh, and special systems just to be able to fit those. Yeah. So 1000 watt, 1500 watts are more suitable for fat bikes where it's more fun. You, know, okay. you have bigger tires, they take a lot more energy yeah. to commute. And so similar to the setup we have with the Fat Rebel with the 750 watt uh, system. Yeah. That's a 170 millimeter spacing. So it's a lot of fun to be able to do 750 watt, 1000 watt. I'm gonna uh, zoom in on that again real quick. So he's saying that the, the dropout spacing here, it's wider, so yeah. it's kind of a custom design on the Correct. motor. Correct. So we, have, we have introduced standard, uh, a standard system. Well, that's cool, because then let's say that you have your own fat bike, maybe you have one with a suspension or you know something that you've already got, you can add your kit to it later and you can get like that super high power that you might want and some yeah. higher top speeds for off-road. Yeah. Isn't yeah. your your like 1500 watt one, can it go like pretty fast? Like It can go pretty fast, we don't recommend it. You know, it's m mainly for an experience, you know, where you yeah. can, you can, you know, you have fat tires and you can actually cruise to 20. This is a responsible message here. Okay, so yes. it's more about moving the weight and climbing right. and stuff right. like that. Right. Uh, in the past, I, you know, we talked about like off-road modes, right. and there are people that it's like, hey, I'm on, you know, forest land or something where it's right. it's okay to go faster. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're not you're off your snowmobile yeah, I mean, it's, or your it's four like, four wheeler. You that's can right. Hop that's on right. your bike. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, automobiles don't have speed limits but we still obey the speed limits. You know? yeah. So that's the philosophy. And that's how these it. all ship, right? Like yeah. It's 20 mile per hour. 20, yeah, it's 28 miles per hour. Speed legal, road legal is gonna be 20 miles per hour. Yeah, with the yeah. throttle. Yeah, okay. So I see this, what is this? Is liquid cooled technology going on? So, so you know, Court, we had a uh, uh, few customers approach us a couple of years ago, uh -huh. and they had a lot of complaints about uh, geared motors, mid drives, where uh, you're trying to haul 500 pounds plus of weight. Like a cargo bike or cargo something? Cargo bikes, yeah, right? Yeah. Cargo bikes. You're trying to uh, haul a lot of weight and the gears break, mid-drive gears break because they're made of plastics, mm -hmm. right? So they have a very limited lifetime. And so they were looking for a solution. They were attracted with our five-year warranty and they approached us. Yeah. And so we began to work on a solution where we could haul 500 pounds of weight yeah. and at the same time, the motor will not break, or, or the motor will not overheat. Yeah, okay. Because right? so, so there's no gear, so it's no gears. gearless direct drive. That's it's just right. magnets, but that creates a lot of heat inside. That's so. right. So there is the, the trapped heat, which cannot be you know dissipated when you're trying to haul a lot of a lot of cargo. Okay. Yeah. So we have uh, worked on a solution, uh, and and 
a liquid, silicon-based liquid, which we uh, which we have inside the motor. Motor is fully sealed, okay. and it allows the uh, and, and you won't know a difference between a regular HX uh, as to the liquid cool HX. So it's Except not like especially heavy or anything. no, okay. no. It's like you know we'll just call it HX cool. Okay. So that that's what it, it'll have on it, Sweet. and it allows you to be able to carry 500 pounds of weight without wow. having you know having an issue of motor breaking down or your getting overheated. Can you talk about how it actually works in there? Like, does the liquid spread out or is it... Is yeah, so, so so if you look at, you know, if you, uh, there are, in, in the middle of the motor, you have a stationary part yep. and outside the motor is moving, Yeah. right? So we have got inside liquid, which essentially is working to take the heat out of the windings hmm. into the covers. Hmm. And so that effective mechanism, you know, it's more of a conductive heat mechanism, yeah. which allows the covers now to act as a heat sink. Neat, right? Does that mean don't touch it, or how do you? No, it's it's it, no no. It, it's, it doesn't it, get too too hot. No, it, it, well, I mean, you, with the controller inside, obviously you can control whatever temperature you want the motor to be. Yeah. Right. So yes, no, it doesn't get too hot, but it allows all of the motor to be used for heat dissipation, which is not the case with regular direct drive motors. Yeah. Because the heat is trapped. When you're, it's like air, right? That's in there. Yes. So being able to use liquid, I think it's much more conductive, I guess. Yes, air is an insulator. Heat. Yeah, right. in air insulator. is an insulator. So, so once you have a heat in there, so air moves the heat very slowly. Mm. Once you put the liquid in there, then the liquid has got the particles, which really, you know, start moving rapidly, and you have got better heat dissipation. And does it automatically flow just based on this is hotter, higher pressure, so it goes to the outside and then it cools and comes back? Or yeah, so it's a natural. You know, the, these are some of the. Uh, benefits nature has given us, you know, just yeah. because of the liquid, the nature of the liquid, it allows the the particles, you know, the hot particles to move out and yeah. the cold particles to come in, and you have a constant uh, uh, heat. Well, thank you. Them. Yeah, you know, I, there's like ideas floating around my mind, and I saw the pictures and stuff, but it's it's kind of neat to get a little bit of the science behind how this goes. I think it's the only liquid-cooled electric bike motor that I know about. Yeah, no, we have, you know, we, there have been uh, liquid-cooled experiments done before. But they were not successful, and they were not really production ready. They so didn't have a five-year warranty. That's yeah, they didn't sure. have a five-year <laughs> warranty. So we, what we worked on, we wanted a solution which was very robust and could last for a very long time yeah. in the field. Yeah. And so that took time. You know, liquid cooling is known. Liquid cooling motors are also known. Uh, the CPUs on computers, that's right? right? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. We got a right. laptop over here somewhere. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's very cool. We got some nice little shots here of the different parts. It's one of the HX motors, disc brake compatible, got this cassette and stuff. Also, you know, we were we were looking at mostly mid-mounted batteries before, but you've also got a rack option, and that's nice for like the really deep, like yeah. step through, right. step through bikes and the battery and everything. So, yeah, very cool. So this is great. Thank you for you know touching on some of these things with me, especially because you do have some of the more powerful. Yeah. Kits and bikes that I've I've seen out here. Yeah. Um, it's always a, it's always a pleasure. And uh, the ant thing that with the wireless heart rate control, very cool, very cool. Thank you again, Rakesh. Thank you. Thank you, Gordon. Cheers.